when I was supposed to push. <laughs> Yay! Super lucky was able to check in early. So it's only at 10.30 right now. So that's awesome because then I don't have to lug my bags everywhere. And I can go get some food. Then we've got a pretty nice view. So this is what we're looking at. Wow! The nice thing is, it's a big area and it seems like there's a lot of food. Nothing's really open right now, but let's see if we can go find something. Maybe just a convenience store for right now. I feel like we're kind of in an industrial area, so it's really quiet, but it's actually so pretty in China. I feel like it's very modern. It's also generally really clean. Um, I feel like it's the only country that I've seen cars not cars i don't know what you would call them like those vehicles constantly cleaning the road so even the roads look super clean uh yeah i mean you can't tell if the road looks clean but just a random observation I'm back and I have so much food. So let's see what we had. So for now, what I'm eating is this. I don't even know what you call this, but I had it the last time I was here in China. It's so good. They warm it up for you and there's like meat inside. I don't even know what meat it is, but it's really good. So if you ever see this, it looks a bit like a, like if you know a Korean hot dog, it looks exactly like that, but it's like a savory version. I also got a salad just because uh, salad and orange juice and yogurt drink is all because health because sometimes when you travel your stomach gets messed up so gotta get the right stuff in and a piece of salmon yeah super random and I also got some fruits so I believe this are persimmons but they're so tiny it's so cute I've never seen such small persimmons and then these are I don't know, it's called honey prunes, but also they're really tiny. I don't know why the fruits here are all either super tiny or super large. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna eat my food now. See you guys when I see ya. <laughs> because I had a red eye, I pretty much spent the whole day trying to regain some sleep. So I got like two good hours of sleep and I don't want to keep sleeping if I'm not gonna sleep tonight. So I'm just gonna relax, watch some TV. Tomorrow we have a practice round. Uh, we managed to get an 11 o'clock tea time so we will have time to wake up a little bit later get some breakfast at the hotel room before we take the shuttle to go to the golf course which is gonna be about 30 minutes away i think and i'll see you then so we're done with breakfast um i just got ready so today we're having a practice round my tea time is 11 a.m i think i mentioned that yesterday so we had a bit of a sleep in today which is nice uh, to get some recovery after a red eye flight so today my whoop recovery was like 74 percent so it's in the green and the plan is to play the practice round today and then we will see if we need to play maybe another nine holes tomorrow if not we will just practice tomorrow because there is a pro-am tomorrow so there's limited tea times um, but yeah, that's the plan. See you at the golf course. Oh look, they're like cleaning the... I don't know what you call this. Is this a river? I don't know. But they're cleaning it. It reminds me of those guys who pick up balls at the water driving range that I always post that you guys ask how they pick up balls. That's exactly how they do it right there. Today we're going for a full white feel. Obviously my visor is going to be white. I always wear a white visor. And very matchy matchy. All the information. Oh, 
来淘个金。你这水打的，你这多少码了？唯一拍的钱。I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it's currently like 2.30 in the afternoon and it's so dark. Good morning guys, it is day two being here. It is currently, I don't think you can tell, but it's raining outside again. So it seems like it's gonna be a pretty wet week. Um, I thought I'd show you guys what we got yesterday at Titleist. So it's super nice that Titleist is one of the like, I don't know what you would call them, maybe like a partner of this tour. So yeah, so we don't get um, shoes every week. So we get two pairs a year, but I mean, that's still pretty good. Um, this is a pair of shoes I got yesterday. I haven't tried them yet. I mean, I wear for Joyce all the time, so I know that the sizing is gonna be fine, but they look really comfortable and they look really cool if I do say so myself. Um, and usually what we get is, sorry. So these are the gloves that I wear. Um, stay softs. These are the best gloves in my opinion and we get three pairs of gloves every tournament as well as two dozen golf balls and I use Pro V1 X's. So yeah, it's really nice. So also like it helps a lot because if for instance we have like three tournaments in a row in China or something, we can actually like not bring like four dozen golf balls and have to worry about that. So yeah, it's super nice. It's definitely one of the perks of playing here in China and yeah, I don't think many, I mean, not many tours in Asia have that other than like the biggest tours such as like Japan, maybe Korea, like yeah, those tours. But yeah, it's super nice that China has that and obviously as like a Titleist user, yeah, it benefits me as well. So that's one of the perks of playing here in China tour. Well, I also forgot, we also usually get two hats or visors or whatever um, every, every time. So normally, as you guys know, I I'm a visor user, but because of the rain, I thought, especially because today's, oh, today's going to be practice day because we decided like the course seems pretty like straightforward in terms of layout. So I don't feel like we need to go out there for a game plan assessment again. So we're just going to go practice. But because of the rain today, um, it's not fun to be in a visor practicing in the rain. <laughs> so luckily we got these hats yesterday. Um, this one's still really hard. So I feel like it's like sticking out my head. But yeah, it'd be nice to at least not get my entire head drenched before doing practice. So yeah, see you guys out there. Well, today's outfit is going to be full rain gear because um, it's one thing I feel like playing on a course without rain gear but like especially here because like right now it's still really warm so that's the biggest struggle because like i don't really wear rain pants when we play here in southeast asia or asia in general because actually we're not in southeast asia we're in asia but um yeah because it's hot so i mean china get, does get cold but it's not cold yet so it's really a struggle to like be playing when the when you feel like the rain gear is like stuck to you but because we're going to be practicing today we're just going to be like for instance standing in one spot putting it's going to be very uncomfortable if you get drenched so full rain gear it is today let's head around head out there and grind
I'll keep order from emergency exit. I don't know if you guys can actually see me, but uh, the electricity is still out in our hotel and I don't know why it's not supposed to be. But yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna take some time to chill now, uh, wind down, probably find a show to watch on Netflix and just get ready for tomorrow. Just calm down the mind a little bit and get ready for a day. Uh, it's been raining almost the entire day, like literally the entire day. So I think it's supposed to rain the entire day again tomorrow. Uh, we'll see, but just gotta get Mentally prepared for a wet day. So the rain has finally stopped after like 60 hours of raining. I don't even know. It was raining practice round day, the day after that, first round yes oh shoot. First round yesterday basically until like the evening and then it stopped for a little bit and then it started again. And finally today's day two and it's finally stopped raining. That's I mean it's pretty amazing that the course I mean it was wet, it was like really really wet, but for it to still be playable, I think that's pretty amazing, honestly. It was raining for like 60 hours, so yeah. Anyway, might get a little bit windy today, so let's get ready to go out there. Uh, my tea time is 12.05. Let's have a good one. Long day, finally done. We really had like six lip pops today, and the only birdies I made were a one footer and a three footer. Hopefully, the birdies will drop tomorrow. It's literally eight. You can't see it. We have too many drinks here. It's 8 17 pm, and I'm already sleepy. <laughs> Another early day, gonna catch the 5.50 bus to the golf club. And we've got a boom, oh, this over lighting, wow. And we've got a 7.55 tea time. Let's go get it. <laughs> So we're in the airport waiting to catch my flight back home. Um, I finished the tournament tied for 34th. Not my best week, especially scoring wise. Um, ball striking wise, I think I was hitting it pretty good. I think the worst thing, worst shot that I hit got me in a bunker. But just with like the conditions and stuff, every single time you're in a bunker, the ball is plugged. So when your ball is plugged, it's like a 50-50 chance whether, I mean, I got it out every single time. But to get it up and down is super difficult because most likely it's not going to be super close and you're going to have to make the putt. And I hit very good shot out of plugged lies, but then I just didn't make the putt. So I think the biggest... Um, part where I lost strokes this week was definitely putting because I gave myself so many opportunities and the putts were just not going in and also it's like very hard to judge in this situation whether it's like my putting or the actual greens but like I know people made putts but yeah I I, I probably only made one birdie putt that was outside of three feet so it's kind of difficult to score when you are playing in conditions that are not perfect and it's and you're not making birdies like I said, it wasn't like the best week, but it wasn't a terrible week. Like I made the cut, I, I finished halfway after the cut. So um, even the scoring for the leader this week was not great. Like, I mean, not, not that obviously it's, it's still good that because they won, but it was not great because usually on this tour, the winning score is going to be close to like 10 under. And this week it was five. So I think you can tell just by the winning score and how many people are under par that the conditions were pretty difficult. But yeah, I just think um, I definitely see a lot of positives um, in my game. So that's the, the good part. And yeah, just more things for me to work on. Definitely going to work on short game more next week as I head into a course with 
from what I heard, much better green, so I'm very excited for that. And I will probably catch you over there. I hope you guys enjoy just watching my week in China. This is one of the tours that I'm playing on this year, which is, uh, like I said, this year I'm playing in Asia. So I guess I haven't really talked much about it, but I'm playing on three tours in Asia. And that's why I've been playing like three tournaments a month. It's keeping me very, very busy. So yeah, I showed you a week in Taiwan and this was a week in China. So I will probably catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching my life on tour um, as, as much as I could record obviously and yeah